El eurodiputado portugués Paulo Rangel ha denunciado en el Parlamento Europeo su preocupación por el Estado de Derecho en España, a raíz de que Pedro Sánchez haya decidido paralizar por completo el Poder Judicial. El político además ha querido dejar claro que está muy bien que se hable de Hungría o Polonia, pero que no olvidemos que Pedro Sánchez ha eliminado el delito de sedición, ha minimizado el de malversación, ha indultado a políticos condenados por el Tribunal Supremo y una larga lista de golpes a la democracia que ha dado el presidente español. Ahora ya no son solo eurodiputados húngaros los que piden explicaciones a Pedro Sánchez y Europa por su pasividad, sino países como Portugal o Italia, aliados históricos de nuestro país. Os dejamos con las imágenes, pero antes recuerda suscribirte y dejarnos un like para no perderte más vídeos como este. We are deeply concerned with the situation of rule of law in Spain. We are used to speak here about Hungary and Poland. And rightly so. We cannot forget that the Consejo General del Poder Judicial, the Judicial Council, is totally paralyzed by decisions of the government. The Minister of Education has not implemented decisions of High Court on Catalonia. That there are pardons and amnesties for people that were condemned by the High Court and that the crime of sedition was totally changed and al malversación also. And this means that these laws that were made in a procedure that was accelerated and not consensual, these laws are photo laws. They were approved to favor people whose names and face we know. They are totally unconstitutional. And by the way, about the Constitutional Court, Mr. Commissioner, please don't forget that a minister and someone that was very close to the government, they were nominated to be judges of the Constitutional Court. And the problem is not they are former ministers. The problem is that they were members of this government, of this majority. I've never seen this in all Europe, to nominate to the Constitutional Court someone that was a member, a minister of a government. This is totally against the rule of law. I've never seen this, and I regret that a country like Spain, that was a role model for all of us with their democratic transition, is now at stake in, in, in this problem of independence of judicial power. This is, I say, a shame. A shame for us because we were used to admire the democratic model of Spain and their respect for the rule of law. No olvides darle like y suscríbete si aún no lo has hecho.